got a Stoll & Co. company case. I got a whole bunch of cases. Right? So, if you watched any of these string of videos that I'll be posting, you can see I ordered all this stuff. Well, I bought this stuff with my own money. Was not free. Uh, I got the Jet Tech, the Mumba case, Mumba carrying case, Amazon Basics Vault. Uh, a little kit to take it apart because I'm going to put this base top uh, smoke case on there. I got this Nyko case, which I do not recommend. That one kind of sucks. And uh, the Skull & Co. obviously in this the original case I purchased. And there's my micro SD card. I've had my Switch for about two weeks. I really like it. Personally, I travel a lot. So the case is important. And I'll be using a lot of handheld mode. And I'm a big guy. I'm 6'1". Uh, somewhere between 240 and 220. Currently 226, but I get up to 240. A couple of cheeseburgers, a couple of donuts. I'll get right up there. A couple more beers. Uh, I'm also, you know, a grown adult. Large hands. So I was looking for some cases to add some grip back here. Uh, I watched a bunch of videos online. I couldn't tell, so I just ordered all of them. Or everything I thought was cool looking. Uh, I will say, I haven't used it very much. I just kind of opened it and just tried it out. I'm trying all this all at once, all the same day, October 19th. Not real crazy about this collaboration right off the bat. Um, this Amazon Basics case is awesome. I love this one, but you can't have, a, you can't have any kind of grips on there. Jet Tech pretty cool, but this plum color looks pink to me, so I gotta get a different one. But I like these little lumps, which is the main selling point of the Skull & Co. So, I feel like the Skull & Co. is probably gonna be my winner. So, let's get the Mumba case out of here for the moment. Let's do the not-so-easy process of removing the Mumba case. Which is one of the main complaints I saw in various video reviews or written reviews as well. You feel like you're going to break it when you take it off. And let's just try out this bad boy. So right off the bat, it's a big case. It's a big box. It's also more expensive. It's 50 bucks, but you're getting the case and the grip. So you're getting two things in one. Uh, still more expensive than the combination of those other things, but I think it may be a higher quality. Granted, I haven't opened it yet, but most of the videos I saw online, cheap knife, uh, were big fans of this case, and a lot of people on Reddit were a big fans of this case, and they got pretty stellar reviews on Amazon as well. But again, it costs more. You know the old saying. All right. Uh, so, replaceable grips, and means you can change these colors out for all hand sizes. I'll be the big hand size. Dock friendly? I'm not sure about that. I believe that. Easy fit? We'll see about that as well. Max carry case, which is the case portion as opposed to the grip case. Uh, huge storage capacity, which I hope is correct because for longer trips, I'm going to want to take this guy with me as well. Uh, so hopefully... I can fit this inside of here. Uh, so this is all going my carry-on pack on my airplane. And uh, it gets pretty full. In case charging, I don't know what that means. Uh, 10 game card slots, don't care. So I'm going to be all digital, adjustable stand. I guess I can make it like tabletop mode. Maybe use my Power A controller. Alright, so let's get the main event here. Uh, I chose the one with the matching colors of the original case. Uh, but you can buy these separately for like 10 bucks. So I'll probably buy the gray ones if I change it out to that smoke color like I'm planning on. So, still the plastic, but it appears to be the same kind of material as this official Nintendo Switch. And it has a handle. Very similar to the Nintendo Switch, the official Nintendo Switch case, which I really like because when well, I'm getting on an airplane, I pull this out of my carry-on, 
put my backpack into the overhead storage and I hold this in my little handle here and I take it to my seat. Alright, nothing else in the box besides the actual case, so I'll put that to the side. Here's the case. I'm going to assume the grip is inside of it. Right off the bat, a lot of similarities to this guy, right? Appear to be the same material. Uh, it has similar as this guy. This is a nicer red. But I guess these are supposed to match the Joy-Cons of the Switch. Which they pretty much do. Spot on, really. The case isn't that much bigger. I mean, it's bigger, obviously. I guess it's... I wouldn't call it two cases as big, but it's a little bigger. Alright, so here. So that's already... This is better than... See, this is smart. There's no zipper here. Whereas the Mumba case up top has this zipper. And this hard plastic piece here, right? So in theory, this could bang around and scratch the screen of your Nintendo Switch, which obviously you don't want. This guy obviously has this little pouch guy, so it's not going to scratch anything. And, much like the official Nintendo Switch case, it has this little Velcro guy holding this guy in. So this is like sturdy cardboard maybe, whereas this one seems like, you know, plush padding. There's a big difference there. Uh, but it also has this Velcro strap, like the official guy does, which would hold your switch in there, which is great, which is what you want. Alright, so now we got ourselves a little directions. Nice little piece here. Real nice. Alright, put switch into the grip case. Start from the side with the Z, R, Z, L buttons. Uh, so basically stop it, start with the top, and slide the top in, and then push the bottom in. So, so this is what you may not like, which I'm not sure I'll like, is having these covered up buttons. I didn't like that about the moment. Alright, so first time I'm trying this course, we'll put the top in. It does just slide right in there pretty easily. And I do very much like these grips back here. It's hard to say unless you've actually held it, but this is, I think, instantly a winner. So we'll push this, we'll see how well the power button works. Also, a better press on this than on the Mumba. Uh, I don't want to beat up on the Mumba too bad because it didn't do anything wrong to me, but it was kind of hard to press this button down. Whereas, it's very easy to press it here. Same thing with the volume. A little more force with the volume, but the power button is a super easy press all day. Of course, there's one area where the old Jet Tech has everyone beat because they have cutouts for everything, which is great. If these were a little bigger on the jet tech, it'd probably be my go-to case. So the one case I didn't buy is that Stratus file, which I saw some reviews of, and that may be the winner for me because, well, that has cut out for the dock. I will try it. We'll see. If this will dock with this, then this is definitely going to, this is nice back here. Yeah, see, my finger just naturally goes in there. That's pretty close up. <laughs> My hand just naturally fits right in there. It's a very natural feel. I'm going to say natural, a whole bunch more. Uh, oh, I didn't get that all the way in there. Though. 
There it goes. I didn't do it here either, did I? Alright, so there you go. You see that logo that popped in a little bit. Alright. So, yeah. I'll bet it'll be even better now. Still takes a little force for the volume buttons. Uh, let's see. I got A to continue. Let me try putting the triggers. Uh, I can see how that could be a little distracting, but this is so nice, it's probably worth putting out. I wonder if I could just cut those guys off. Probably not. Now, I do like how it matches the color, too. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's a spot-on color reproduction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have a winner here in my book already. My case quest. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. Uh, you know, my concern was if I dropped it on the airplane. Obviously, there's no front protection. But there's a lot of, a lot of room there, right? If you wanted to go up underneath there. And I think... Now, this one won't stand up on, so... So there's no tabletop mode with this one. No kickstand. Kickstand is not accessible. These vents are accessible, right? Uh, really good looking case. So yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of that guy right there. So this will probably be my go-to. But again, I'm a large man, large hands. Let's get back to the case here. So in here, we have some instructions and very nicely a second set. So again, let's say you didn't want that. See this little nub right here? Say if you don't like that, this one does not have it. So you can just Pull that right off. And this guy will just pop right on. Oh, yeah. So that's way smaller. That would be comparable to the old Jet Tech. Still bigger, though. Uh, but yeah, for me, I'm, that's going to be a note for me. I definitely like the other one. But again, I got big hands. Not so easy to get these guys off. You can't really get your fingernail in there. Okay, well that's dumb. Yeah. So yeah, this cat comes off really easily. So I don't feel like I'm gonna break it. Oh yeah, so that's good. You gotta squeeze these to get them off. That makes sense. Better than just the brute force method I was using a moment ago. You can see how they go in there. So, here's another thing I was wondering. Let's see this big hole back here. If I put this here. Alright, that's another thing. So, that's another winner. So, you got plenty of room. Stick your finger in to get the case out. This little tray, I'm betting will be perfect for this battery so I could combine everything into one here so if I'm going on a long trip I could take this case have my battery pack in there this will protect the back of the switch this will protect the screen of the switch this little velcro friend will keep them in here I don't know where that, there you go 
Oh, that's right. So this goes down. Yeah. Oh yeah, so this little pad will protect the back. I don't know what you put in here. Nothing, I guess. Those aren't pockets. They look like pockets. They're just ridges. So yeah, that's perfect. So you got your switch in there. I can put my battery in here. I'm good to go. Alright, that's my airplane backpack. Alright, so big thumbs up for this guy. Some of these extra cases you can order different colors, which I probably will. And keep your interest up there. And I guess that's it. So for all my cases I've tried, I might do a combined review, I guess, but like I would say these are my favorites so far. It's this Amazon Basics case. And this big boy here. But yeah. It's also a pretty fat case, so there's a big size difference here. So short trips, I'll probably use this guy. And for big long trips, I'll probably use this big fat guy. Alright, so uh, I'll probably let my son try it out, play some Fortnite on there to see how he likes those extra grips. And I guess that's all for now. And I'll probably add some stuff on here later. And keep watching the channel because I'm going to give away these things I don't like, so I'll probably be giving away the old Mumba, and if my niece doesn't want it, I'll give away this Jet Tech. There's Note 9 cases. This uh, Nimbus 9 company sent me a bunch of free stuff, and I want the pink one. I am going to use the clear one. Uh, I have that on my note right now, and I like it a lot. And, yeah, that's all. So keep watching, I'll have a giveaway, probably. I need this whole having a bunch of subscribers and viewers thing, so I gotta figure out how all this stuff works. Uh, but yeah. So far I like this case. I like these two the best. So basically, this is a good case too, but this one combines on that one, this one makes it stronger and slimmer, so pretty much a win all the way around here. But I guess a lot of the I haven't tried yet is that Satisfy or Stratify case. Uh, I saw that on Nintendo Life and it looked pretty cool too. Alright, so for now uh, also kind of like how it doesn't say anything on here. Obviously you have these little colored skulls and some to figure that out I guess but like this is kind of advertising this is like I had this setting down somewhere the day and I was thinking wait it really just has a switch there someone wanted to steal it I think they'd be more inclined to steal a switch than just a random black package all right I'm rambling here so all right thanks for watching all right so I got my uh, anchor power what do they call it power core uh, 13400. So, I'm gonna be flying out tomorrow. I'm gonna use the Skull and Co. grip on the plane. Uh, it's my first time using it. So, I previously was showing off, I was excited about how deep this is. So, it seems like everything's gonna fit perfect. Uh, also, you can tell I put my base top shells on here. Still should fit just fine. Yeah, it fits just fine. Alright, so now I will look forward to playing this on the plane tomorrow. Alright, so there was a question 
uh, on supposedly this, so it's a lot of debate on if this was actually dockable or not. So like different versions and different problems apparently or something. Here's my dock uh, with a dock sock on. And we'll just see if I can dock it with it on there still. And it does not appear so. Because you, my light's not coming on. Yeah, I'm not saying it is not dockable with that. Maybe that was an old version that was that, so just in case, I'll try to take the sock off. Sure enough, it's being impeded there, right? So let's just put you on again. Actually, yeah, I went with. So maybe the sock was the problem. So you can see it is coming right on with the alright so let me try it the sock again so I do like the sock Sock's too far down. Let me pick the sock up a little bit. All right, yeah. So now it is working with the sock, with the case on. So that's good. With the yeah, Skull and Co. case on and the sock on. Uh, this dock is from I would say I bought it in May of 2018. So I don't know if they released a different version at some point, but. Clearly, it works with the dock and the sock. So let me push it down a little more and see if I just got unlucky the first time or what. Yeah, no, nope, so that's working. So yeah, uh, uh, everything's boding well for the old skull and curl grip. So that's one thing I wanted to check. And then of course the other thing I wanted to check is just to make sure this would fit in here. And of course Anchor has this nice little bag to hold the switch. Not the switch, the battery. I'm just going to put that in there. It didn't really cinch up any. That's alright. So yeah. So there's plenty of room to fit the old battery case. Uh, the battery compartment in Skull Co. And you can drop this guy down. Put my Skull Co. casing here. There we go. Nice. Easy. And just for fun, let's weigh this guy. This is my Amazon Basics uh, luggage scale, I guess. All right, so I travel, I gotta make sure my suitcase is under 50 pounds. You know, that sounds like a lot, but it's not whenever I, my suits are at least 10 pounds. Turn them on. So this is weighing the case, uh, the carrying case, the Skull and Co. grip, uh, and the switch. So we're showing what 1.15 pounds. And my battery's low. We're just showing a little battery, but it showed one. <laughs> well, let's test it out a little bit, make sure it works by dropping it. 
2.6 pounds. I had it on kilograms, so that makes more sense. 2.6 pounds with the anchor battery, the switch with Joy-Cons, of course, Skull and Go Grip, and one game. 